Hi, I'm Numa Perrier, the writer, director, and co-star of Jezebel. And hi, I'm Tiffany Tenille. I play Jezebel. Which is playing on Netflix right now, and we are about to break down a scene from the film. Okay, so this scene, uh, we call the scene the wig scene. Mm -hmm. It's a pivotal scene in the film, and this is a moment that really happened between me and my sister. It was the first time that I ever saw my sister, who is uh, so strong to me and such an, an anchor in my life. It's the first time that I ever saw her cry, and the first time that I actually felt comfortable crying in front of her because I did look at her as being so strong. So there's, there's a lot of reasons why this is a pivotal scene, and um, we haven't seen it in a while, yeah. so we're gonna watch it. <laughs> right here. Looking for internet models, nudity required, great pay. It's a job, okay? Look. What do, uh, I, what do I have to do? It's easy. You don't have to talk like I do. Just show off a little bit. It's not a big deal. This moment where we, it's mentioned that nudity is required. My eyebrows literally rose up and <laughs> I was, when I read the script, the first thing, first of all, it was only 15 pages. It wasn't even a full draft, like full script yet. And that was based, this scene is the end of the script, like the 15 pages mark. And I remember feel, being filled up with so much trepidation, like this is my first role and I gotta do nudity already. And, <laughs> man, and I didn't know that it was a um, true story. So I, you know, I was kind of judging it. Mm. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Mm. <laughs> Cause I didn't know even what it was, I was reading and she just said read Jezebel. And I'm like, oh, webcam, wait, what? I'm gonna have to do what? Mm. And I am so happy that initial reaction was my last judgment of these people. So um, once I did find out that it was Numa's story, uh, the judgment just left. But yeah, Numa, made me feel comfortable and she said I didn't have to do nudity. We didn't have to show it. And I, I, I applaud her for her bravery because there were people who she talked to who basically were saying, where's the nudity? Why, why is no nudity? Mm -hmm. And she stand her ground and said, we don't need it. That's, the, that's not what this is about. Pulling away from the nudity actually gave it more eroticism and you know gave it more of a it tease, tease and gave yeah. it and gave it more of a uh, unexpected quality and so you know that was really really important as well yeah. and it also gave you know uh, me and my cinematographer a challenge of how we were going to shoot things how we would frame things out um, without it also being kind of embarrassingly avoidant <laughs> And I, re I just remember uh, really wanting to use very close framing on this and so that we could just see Tiffany's face light up the way that it does. And every time that I watch this scene, when, <laughs> when your eyelashes <laughs> just kind of pop up in that way and there's just this whole like mixture of um, naivete <laughs> and innocence and but yet the yearning for something more, not knowing what's going to come next. I just love, I love that moment so much. This, right here, Jezebel. Jezebel. Isn't she pretty? She is. She's beautiful. All right, let's okay. do something about this. Okay. Let me show you. So this is incredible because I'm reminded now that the entire time, every time that someone read the script, um, after we had our table read and everything, people would always ask me, what is the significance of the title Jezebel? Why are you calling the story Jezebel? In between takes, uh, before we move into the bathroom on this scene, something, I just heard a voice that just told me to call the wig Jezebel. And you know, like, wigs all have names. We either name our wigs or <laughs> when we buy Alicia. them, they come, <laughs> they come with a name. And it just said, just, just call the wig Jezebel. Yeah. There you go. Okay, okay calm down. <laughs> calm down. Oh no, what? Sorry. Just calm down. Shh. Okay. Shh. Just 
when I asked my sister for permission to play her first, I did ask her permission, um, I really felt like it was <laughs> a role of a lifetime for me. Like if I had seen, if I had heard about that role, right, I would have, you know, been fighting people to, <laughs> to be seen for yes, it because mm -hmm. my sister is such a, so fascinating to me. But she gave me the permission to play her and then from there, we started having conversations that we've never had before. And what I remember one of the questions I asked her, I just was really trying to understand what was driving her every single day. What was the main thing that was on her mind in her day-to-day -day -day living? So I just asked her, like, what can you remember? What were you thinking about every day? And she said to me just so simply, she said, the only thing I was thinking about every day was how was rent gonna get paid on Friday? And that changed everything for me because when I was living with her, I knew that the rent was due, but that wasn't my burden. That was her burden. And everything that was going on was through the lens of her knowing that that was looming over her head and that we might not have it. And so that really changed everything for me. And, um, you know, plugging that into the scene is just <laughs> the full, one of the like full arrival moments of what that is, you know, it made me feel so much more grounded in the role that no matter what I'm doing, I know that I have to protect the family yeah. and provide for the family. Alright. Let's play with it a little. Maybe like put this oh, okay. part over to the side. Oh yeah. Same part. She's cute. Mm -hmm. Check there you go. Okay, calm down. <laughs> calm down. Oh no what? Sorry. Calm down. I know, but we are gonna be okay. Yeah, that line, it's just hitting you right, is exactly what my sister said to me. The first time that I was ever felt like I could be vulnerable in front of her, she said that it, those, ex I'll never forget that moment that we were both so, um, so struck by our grief, but did not know how to express it to each other at all. So it's because I broke down <laughs> in that moment that we had maybe one of the most intimate conversations that we've ever had, even though there were not yeah. that many words spoken. So I really made sure that I put that line in the script because it had such a effect on me to this day. Yeah, and this moment for me um, is the first time I cried in front of my big sister. I, uh, or Jezebel, cry, uh, Tiffany cried in front of her big sister because she's always just trying to be brave and not show emotions. Early on in the movie, um, you see Tiffany going into the bathroom after she visits her mom, um, and that's her way of finding her own safe o oasis or sanctuary so she can really just let it out because she was carrying just a huge, heavy load, you know, when, you know, with the, the things that were going on with her mother. And so when her mom finally died, this is the scene where She's just letting it out and her sister is, in her opinion, finally comforting her and sees her and she's, this moment is almost her sister rebirthing as the mother or metaphor, um, morphing into that new uh, role as mother to mother and sisters.